What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are finally going to be installing suspension on Kevin's E92 M3. If you guys have been following along, we are going to turn his car into a dedicated track car. So we've got some new suspension to put on the car today. Now, Kevin will also be driving this car pretty regularly until he can buy another car to use as a daily. So the suspension setup that we chose is actually gonna be really, really great for daily driving as well. All right, so the suspension setup that we're gonna be putting on Kevin's car today is not a very common one, um, but the people that have run this kit have said really, really great things about this. So it's called an RD Sport chassis kit. The RD Sport chassis kit basically is revalved Bill Steen struts and RD Sport springs. So it's actually a pretty aggressive drop. So really excited to see what that looks like. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how exactly to uninstall and reinstall new suspension on an E92 M3. All right, Kevin, this is the last time you'll be rocking stock suspension. All right, everybody, say hello to the camera. Kevin, Tim. <laughs> Step one, take off the wheels. All right, well, Tim's taking wheels off. Kevin's gonna learn how to take the truck linings out because we need to get to the top of the suspension on both sides. Trunks out. Actually, pull it back off, Tim. So you need to pull these rubber things off of here. That exposes the top of the strut on each side. So I guess we're gonna start on the rear first because it's easier. Okay, so we're under the car here. Need to remove this bolt here, which is an 18. We're gonna start with this one first. It's just threaded through, so there's no nut on this side. It's just threaded through the swing arm. So remove this one, and then we're gonna remove that one. It's looking like fall on me. All right, that 18's out. And then I think we need a 21 here and a 21 on this side because there's a nut on the other side. So a wrench on one side, now impact is, is this on the gonna other. fall out? No, maybe a little bit, but it'll be fine. All right, now we got those off. You just need to kind of pull down on the swing arm and the spring should come right out. Also, don't forget to remove the headlight leveler right there. It's a 10 millimeter. And then you, you can just remove the one bottom side right there. There you go, spring it out. Coming back on top, Tim's using a 16 millimeter on top of the uh, strip right there. All right, so for the top nut here, you need a 16 millimeter for the big one and then a six millimeter for the small one. If you start turning the 16 millimeter, the entire strut or the entire uh, strut will start spinning. So you gotta put an open end wrench on the bottom, 16 millimeter and a six millimeter. 16 millimeter open end wrench on the bottom and a six millimeter on the top. This thing, yep. top of the struts loose. Just need to grab it and pull it out of there. Boom, baby, one side out. New Bilstein. Does he come with a stop? There you go. All right, so Tim put the strut back in. Easiest part is to reinstall the 18 millimeter there first on the bottom. And again, this one threads through the swing arm. After we do that, we're gonna go back up to the top. All right, meanwhile, you can get your spring prepared. We need to reuse the bottom here, the rubber on both sides, and then reapply on the new one. All right, before we move to the top, we're gonna reinstall the new spring. Got the new rubber pieces on there from the OEM ones. You gotta make sure that these are obviously all in the right spot because the spring has to sit on the right there. 
can see little cutouts where the spring stops. And that's the bottom. And this is the bottom. So these little tabs actually come through the bottom of the swing arm. And one comes through there. And the other one on the other side, I think. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna need you to pull down on it. Spring and shot, strut are both in. So now we can move to the top, but it'll be wise to use a jack, four jack, to recompress and push the uh, strut back up through the hole here. So, as you can see, we can't get it through yet. So, Tim's gonna jack it up. Kevin, look in there and tell me what it comes to. And this will also help realign that's 21 right there too. Yep. There it is. So there's the new. Well, this is actually being well, new. We're still. using the old one, but it's exactly the same as the new one. So go ahead and put that on top. And then the Bilstein requires. So that's a 16 millimeter open end wrench, and then a five millimeter Allen. All right, everything's back in. Got both of those. Headlight sensor. Everything's tightened in there. That's what it looks like. One rear side down. Passenger side rear. It's the exact same process. There's just no headlight sensor that you need to deal with. All right, day two, working on the fronts. And we're starting on the top. Need to remove this cap. This is a non EDC car, so I don't need to unplug anything other than pull this cap off. Which Tim is doing on that side. So we're starting the driver's side first. Need to remove the headlight leveling sensor down here. This is going to be a 10 millimeter, one on each side. Okay, so we removed the headlight leveling sensor. Now we're going to pull these brake lines off. All right, so I've got all of these disconnected. There should be three on the driver's side. One there, one there, one there. Next, we need to remove this end link, this long bar right here. It's connected right here to the shock. All the way down. Right there, so that's a 16, 16 millimeter. So the nut is a 16 millimeter. And the open end wrench is a 17. While we're here, we're going to loosen this 16 millimeter bolt. And there's also a 16 nut on the other side. For the next part here, we're going to compress the spring. So if you rent one of these from AutoZone, it's free. Free lunar, you just have to put a $50 deposit down and then you get your money back. So the way this works is wrap it around the spring. Let's see. I'll do this way. So we're gonna wrap around the spring and then compress. Alright, Tim's putting the spring compressor on here on one side. And then we're gonna use an open end wrench to tighten this down on top. We can get it in there. So we've got that spring compressor on. Lynn, uh, Tim's gonna lower the car a little bit so we can loosen the top nut. We're also gonna put a jack underneath here to compress the spring back up into the car a little bit. Moving to the top, so we've got a jack down here compressing all of this. And then we're going to loosen this. So the piston will actually spin. So you need to use a 10 millimeter to hold this. And then get a, I believe that's a 21 yeah. or something, but you need to get a open end wrench down there, hold on to the, that, or loosen the nut while holding this one in place. Let's go, just got that off. Sorry. We end up taking off this uh, brace a little bit just to give us some extra room. All right, so as you can see, it's already starting to come out. 
the spring compressor helped give us a little bit more room, I think, as well. So we should be able to pull this down and tilt it out at this point. All right, so we put the other spring compressor on the other side. We're gonna tighten that side down now. It gives us a little more space. All right, at this point, we pulled it down, slid it out. Tim pulled the spring off and the top hat off. And now, what you need to do is get yourself one of these. This is a spindle spreader tool. Got this on Amazon, I think it was like $15. But we basically need to spread the spindle part right here in order to pull the entire shock out, strut out. There's the other M one out. You just need to pull this uh, end link off of there. That new, other, it doesn't matter. New right now we're assembling the new one. Tim's taken the spring compressors off of the old springs. Here's the new setup here. So we're reusing the top hat, the OEM top hat, and the OEM nut. And that's basically what it should look like. So we're going to transfer the spring compressor over to the new RD Sport Springs. This is the new setup. Bilstein dampener, RD Sport Spring, and again we use the OEM top hat and the OEM nut. That's what it looks like. We've got the new suspension in here. We're going to go ahead and tighten that bolt up down there. So put a jack back underneath and you want to jack, use the jack to push the suspension up back through these holes. You'll see there's a specific orientation for this. There's a little extra nub on the top hat, and it goes right there, so it can only go in one direction here. So I'll line it all up, push it in, and then you're good to go. All right, we've got this all back together now. Um, the torque specs for these bolts should be 27 foot-pounds, and then the middle one should be 47 foot-pounds. And then down here, the bolt that goes back in here to tighten the spindle should be 33.2. Alright, got the top side all buttoned up. Everything's all screwed in. Torque this back. So now we're going to move back down here. And this is where we're going to tighten this bolt on the spindle right there to 33.2 foot pounds. Last step is to put your brake lines and all that stuff back onto the holder. Everything's tightened up, the side's good. Also, don't forget to reinstall your light sensor. A 10 millimeter bolt and a wrench. Oh yeah, don't forget to install your end link as well. Cross your T's, dot your I's. Everything's all tightened up. Torque to spec, this is 47 foot-pounds on the end link. So everything's all tidied up. Throw the wheel on and driver's side is finally done. Driver's side's done. Passenger side is identical. Pretty much no difference. There's just no headlight sensor on this side. <laughs>